Hey yo, what is going on, people? My name is Carform with the Impulses, and welcome to another free view. Now, this time it's a game called Deceit. It's an action co op horror survival game developed and published by Automaton. Now, in the gameplay you're seeing right now, I played with Mila, one of our good friends on OP, and I'll put a link to her channel in the description, even though she probably doesn't want it. Who cares what she thinks, though? She's not fucking important at all. Like, she's not important. Anyways, you might be asking yourselves, hey, what's the story of this game? Well, calm down there. Curious George. I don't know either. You're, you're asking too much of me. What do I look like? John Tron? Total Biscuit? Huh? I don't do research before reviewing games. Psh, who do you think I am, huh? Psh, psh. Ah, who cares? Let's get to the gameplay. This game is basically troubled in tourist town, but with horror aspects. There are two teams or sets of races or whatever the humans and the infected. When you start a match, you spawn in with a knife and a pistol and five different people, be it a party member or randoms. And two out of those five people are infected, but you don't know which. Throughout the map, there are various ammo, puzzles, and things you can solve as human to get traps like gadgets, for example, flashlight, or even a shotgun that can help you fight the infected. The flashlight may come in handy when facing the infected. You can stun them with a flashlight, and the other person can shoot the shit out of them. There will be blackouts throughout the whole game, which I'll come back to later. But the objective of the game is to finish doing the puzzles and move on to the next area after the blackout ends. As for the infected people, their goal is to kill the humans before they can reach to the safe zone. To achieve that, the infected people need to drink these blood bags that are scattered throughout the map, without anyone noticing that they did it. Once they drink about six single blood bags or three double blood bags, they can go into the rampage mode, but not just yet. They need to wait until the blackout happens. Then they can go into their rampage mode and rampage the living shit out of the others, like how rampage me right here. Lula, 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 lula. And I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> the graphics are pretty fucking nice in this game. Like, I wish all free-to-play games looked this nice. The textures just look beautiful and the atmospheric lighting turns me on so much. Now, let's get to the controls. Why do I keep needing to do this part? I mean, nobody's gonna give up getting a game because, oh, look, the interaction button is E. I only, I only use F as my interaction button. <laughs> I'm not gonna get this game. Like, come on. You can even change it into your liking. Like, what am I doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Settings. Well, the settings are pretty advanced. You got your sound settings and your graphic settings, like resolution and graphic quality. The, the game does start in windowed mode for the first time, though, so, so, so you gotta know how to fix that shit, you know? The music and ambience in this game is fucking wonderful. I honestly love every bit of it. It's just an overall experience to witness the game with great graphics and the beautiful music. Overall, The Seed is a fun, action-packed co-op horror game that you can play with your friends and give them a spook and just have a good time. I recommend you get it, and it's free to play anyway, so you won't really lose anything. And if you don't like it, well, you can always uninstall it, you know? It's, it's, yeah. This game deserves so much more attention than it's getting. So be sure to recommend it to your friends as well and play with them. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I have a lot more planned for the upcoming weeks, so be sure to watch out for those. And subscribe to the OP channel to not miss any videos. Let me know if you played the seat and what you think about it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.